you guys can you guys around. Okay, guys, my name is Miss Ashley, or you can call me Miss Mention, it doesn't matter. And I don't know if you guys know my mom, but she teaches kindergarten. I know. Yes, I know. I know. Okay. I know your mom. Well, it's really nice to meet all of you guys, and today I'm going to talk about baptism. So I know Mrs. Dixon already talked to you guys about baptism. Do you remember that a couple weeks ago? Yes. Yeah, but you guys don't care for that? Okay, so you guys are probably super smart, and you know all about it, right? All right, so first we're going to start talking about sacraments. So do you guys know what sacraments are? Have you guys heard that word? Yes. Yeah, no. Does anyone know what an example of a sacrament is? Can you raise your hand and tell me? Anyone have any idea? So baptism is a sacrament, right? Yeah. Any other sacraments that you might know besides baptism? No? <laughs> what happens in second grade? Do you remember? So next year, yeah, first communion. first communion. So that's a sacrament, right? And then also, if you want to become a priest, it's called holy orders. And did you know that getting married is a sacrament too? Yeah. Yeah? So there's all kinds of different sacraments that we have. But when you're really little, the first sacrament that you usually <coughs> go through is baptism. So that's really cool. Um, but there are seven sacraments in all. So can everybody pull up the number seven? Yeah. So there's seven sacraments. Oops. Yep, that's a lot. So today I brought with me a picture. I tried to find the picture of when I was baptized, but I couldn't find it. I actually found it. It's in the scrapbook, but the scrapbook's really big. So I brought a different picture of another baby being baptized. So if you look up there, can you see that it has a little bowl like so? You see this bowl that I have up here? And then you see the priest right here, and he's pouring water on the baby's head. So who do you see in this picture besides the priest and the baby? Who else is there? Yeah. My mom, mom and dad. So they usually hold the baby in there right there when you're getting baptized. But do you have to be a baby when you get baptized? No. 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 You can get baptized when you're older too if you decide to join a Catholic church later. Um, do you know anyone else that's at a baptism besides the priest? The baby and the parents? Yes. The family? The family. Good job. Mm -hmm. Aunt. The aunt and uncle. And there's also what's called the godparents. <gasps> have you guys heard of that? Yes. Do you guys have godparents? Yes. Yeah. My godparents are my aunt and uncle. So, did you want to say something? No. No? Okay. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, that's what a baptism looks like. So now we're going to talk about why baptism is so important. Do you guys know why it's so important? Yeah? It's because God is inviting us into the Catholic Church. So this is when your parents say that they want you to be Catholic and you're going to be a child of God. And during the sacrament of baptism, we get the sign of grace. And grace is just something that is given to us by Jesus and God, and it makes us more holy. So we're going to do a little um, activity, and I'm going to have you come over the carpet. I'm going to call you by tables. And we're going to sit in a circle. Do you guys know how to sit in a circle on the carpet? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Can I have my blue squares come first? You guys have been sitting really quietly. I'm going to sit in a circle around the carpet. I'm going to sit right here behind this, okay? So don't touch the water yet. Don't touch the water yet. Can I have my green triangles go and sit on the carpet, please? <coughs> Don't touch the water yet. I need to make the circle a little bit bigger, girlies. Go back a little bit. And my yellow um, stars can you come back to me. Thank you. And lastly, my red circles. All right. So make sure everyone can fit. This is your present, right? Sorry. I got it almost right. I thought it was Parker. Okay. So we're going to talk about how baptism washes our sins away. So I'm going to show you a little activity. I'm going to have Palmer do it first. We're all going to get a chance to do it, okay? Yeah. We're not allowed to eat the cotton candy, but oh, just know that it is cotton candy. Are you allergic? Yes. We don't have... Yes? Mm -hmm. Peanuts? Uh, die. Die. All right. So just kidding, Palmer. He can touch it. He's he can touch it? it? Yeah. Okay. So just don't put it in your mouth, okay, buddy? And we're going to wash our hands right afterwards. Sound good? Yes. 
unless you don't want to do it. Do you want to do it? Yes. Okay, cool. So put your hand out and don't do anything with it yet. Everyone can do it and practice. You want to practice too? Okay. So this is sin. And when we sin, what happens? What's a sin? Do you guys know? You forget? Do you know? What is it? It's, it's something bad you've done. Mm -hmm. Is it good or bad? Bad. It's bad. So it's when we do something that God wouldn't really like. So we make a decision that's not very good. But when we get baptized, and I'm going to drop it in the water. When we get baptized, oh. look what happens. Everyone see that? The sins go away. So when we are born, we are born with original sin. And that means the sin of Adam and Eve. Do you guys know what that is? Adam and Eve? Yes, when they sinned in the Garden of Eden? Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's what happens. When we're baptized, that original sin that we're born with is to go away. So I'm going to give everyone a piece of cotton candy. Oh, I want to eat. And you're going to try it. Okay. You want to try it? You ready? All right. Whoa. Yeah, it does turn colorful, but that's just because of the kind candy. It doesn't really turn colorful when you're baptized. That would be funny if it did. It would be funny if it did. No, it would be cool. Oh. Alright, you want to try it? Ooh. Ooh. Anyone see that? Awesome. Isn't that cool? You want to try it too? The 14. Alright, go ahead. How does it so fast? I don't know. Probably because it's soft. Yeah, it it's like dry soft. icing. It is. It also works um, if you use really thin toilet paper. That can work too. But I thought cotton candy would be more fun. Don't right, you think? Than toilet paper. Yeah. 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 And sometimes when you do it with toilet paper or something like that, it doesn't disintegrate all the way. So there's still a little bit left. Look how cool that is. You can colorful, still kind of see it, right? But it's not too colorful. You ready to try it? It's cool. I really want to eat it. I know. It is good. Wow. It just turned brown. Yeah, I know. You ready? I really want to eat it. Whoa. See, that's awesome. Okay. That first one disintegrates super colorful. It is. And it disintegrates kind of slowly, doesn't it? It disintegrates super fast. You're welcome. Be the last one. Oh, I would eat it. I know. All right, everyone, watch the last one. That's that the that Whoa! So, what does this represent again? <coughs> Sin being washed away by baptism. Can everyone say washed away? Washed away. What does that mean? Is it still there anymore? No. No, it's gone. All right, I'm gonna have all of you go back to your seats. You guys did such a great job. Alright, and we're going to do something else. So everyone, look back up at the screen. You see what we were looking at? I'm going to keep the cotton candy because I'm going to show a different class how that works too. So, we have to see that video. I know, I know. Alright, can everyone see the board still? Alright, so we're going to show a little video. But first I'm going to ask you a question. Do you guys know someone who was baptized a long, long, long time ago? Who is very special? Jesus. Jesus. Okay, so we're going to watch a video about how Jesus was baptized. I don't know how he was baptized. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right, so everyone put on your listening ears. He's the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. This is John the Baptist. Hey! John loved God with his whole heart. Hey, all you. And he told everyone that the Savior of the world was coming soon. Wow! Come on! John baptized people in the Jordan River. Whoa! And one day, Jesus went to this river to be baptized by John. Hold on. But John tried to talk him out of it. Jesus said, It should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. Yeah, okay. So John baptized Jesus, 
And as Jesus came out of the water, the heavens opened and John saw the Holy Spirit coming down as a dove and resting on Jesus. A voice from heaven said, This is my dearly loved son, who brings me great joy. was the one they had all been waiting for. This was the chosen one of God who would take away the sin of the world. Wow, so do you get, did you guys know that story already about yes, John the Baptist? I, I did. did. Wow. So where did John the Baptist baptize Jesus? Do you remember? Yeah. In a lake. In a river. Close. It's a lake but a river, kind of. Do you know what one it was? The Jordan River. Jordan. The River Jordan. So do we baptize people in rivers usually in the Catholic Church? No. 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 What do we baptize in? Do you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in the back room. Mm -hmm. And it's called a baptismal font. Can everyone say baptismal font? Baptismal font. Yeah, it's kind of a long word. So have you, do most of you go to Nativity for church? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and you all go on Thursdays. So have you ever walked into the back of church and seen that big mm -hmm. glass bowl mm -hmm. and it has water inside it? Do you know what kind of water is inside it? Yeah. Holy. holy water. So yeah, it's been blessed and it's holy water. So that's what we get baptized with. Now today I don't have with me real holy water, but we can pretend. Can we all pretend that it's holy water? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're going to practice what it looks like to baptize our baby. Everyone say hi to the baby. Hi, hi baby. <laughs> Do you want to help me? Brianna, is that how you can answer me? Yeah. Do you want to come up here? Cool. All right. So do you want to do the pouring or do you want to hold the baby? Oh. Hold the baby? Okay. Awesome. <laughs> and then I'm going to need a special friend to come hold the bowl. Want to come? All right. So you turn around so everyone can see. There you go. All right, so you're going to hold the bowl, and you're going to catch the water, okay, when it gets poured. So I'm going to do it first, and I'm going to show you how it's done. So we're just going to pour it a little bit on the back of the head like that. And when the priest does it, because I'm pretending that I'm the priest, but I can't really do it because I'm not the priest. When the priest does it, he says special words. Do you guys know what those words are? Remember? Yeah? Um... Maybe it starts out, I baptize you in the name of the Lord. What's this that we do? Remember? You remember it? In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So that's what the, he says when he pours the holy water. It has to be holy water, just so does anyone want to try? Be very careful, okay? All right. For a little bit. Good job. All right. Thank you, boys and girls. Can you all take a seat? So that's how it looks at a baptism. But normally there'd be a lot more people there, don't you think? Than <laughs> just a lot us. More water. Yeah, and probably a lot more water. But sometimes, if you're an older person and you're getting baptized, you just have to lean your head over the baptismal font because I don't think anyone's gonna pick up a big person and do that. You know? <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of weird, wouldn't it? All right. So yeah, Jesus was baptized by John, but who do we get baptized by? The priest. The priest, that's right. And John wasn't a priest because we didn't really have Catholic priests back then. So, now we're going to do a little activity. And I'm going to hand all of you out a sheet. And do all of you have your art boxes inside your desk? Can you get those out for me and make sure you have some color with them? Right, so you might want to turn around and get to your seat for this part. Who did? Oh, that's awesome. How old is he? Six months. Six months. Yep, that's about how... Actually, I think I was eight weeks old when I was that bad. So I was really, really little when I was that I don't remember it. You were two? Do you remember when you were baptized again? No. No? You don't remember it? I was probably it's a really cool thing. I do because I can't 
not be number anything. All right, so does anyone know what I'm passing out to you? Liam, do you know what I'm passing out to you? No, these are called bingo sheets. Has anyone played bingo before? Yeah, I bet if you were in kindergarten last year, you played all school bingo. Do you remember that? I bet we're going to play it again. Well, we're going to play what's called baptismal bingo. Awesome. So what's going to happen, instead of moving something, so you know how sometimes you move something on yeah. your sheet? But what happens is when I call out one of the cards, you're going to color in that space. Okay, does that sound good? All right. All right. But as I'm calling them out, make sure that if you get a bingo, so do you know what a bingo would be? Yes. All right. So we're going to do a bingo either, it has to be going down. You have to get four down. This is a little different than regular bingo. So when you get four in a row, that's a bingo. So just raise your hand and say bingo, and we're going to go until everyone gets four in a row, okay? Does that sound good? Yes. All right. Yes, you do get a sticker if you get a bingo. It's a smiley face sticker. Okay. So, everyone ready? Yes. All right. So our first one, if you have a baby in a white outfit on your board, will you color that in? So you can color in whatever part you want. If you want to color the whole square, that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yep, what's up? Can you see it? Do you have the baby? Yep, there you go. So usually you wear a white outfit when you're baptized, right? So I have my white baby outfit from when I was baptized here today with you all. My mommy put me in this one. It's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So to everyone that one in, everyone give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Cool. So next we have, who is this? The priest. A priest. So everyone look at your paper. Do you have a priest on there? Yeah. So he's the person who baptizes you. And remember he said, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yep. Just color in the whole square if you want to. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready to move on to the next one. <coughs> okay. A few more people are coming in. Does everyone have at least one theme colored in on their paper? Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. Remember, we're looking for four in a row, okay? All right. So next we have, who is this maybe? The mother and the father. Good job. So when you're baptized, your parents or guardians or whoever takes care of you are there. And they bring the whole family too. And the godparents are there. And they're usually the ones that are standing right by you when you're getting baptized. So everyone color in that square. Yep. Just a picture. Yeah, you can color in just a picture. That's fine. Ooh, you're using a lot of colors. I like it. All right, you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Wait a couple seconds. Good? Everybody good? No. Yep. No. Almost. Oh. I like your priest. He's very nice. All right. So next, what is this? I don't know. Yeah. That's all. What book? It's a special book. Yeah. The holy book, but what holy book? <gasps> yeah. The Bible. The Bible. The holy Bible. So where would we find the story of John the Baptist? We would find it in the Bible, wouldn't we? In all the stories about Jesus. The Bible is very important for baptism. The so color in the Bible, if you have it on your paper. Some of these you might have two times, so make sure you're looking. Because you might have the Bible twice, and you might have a baby Jesus. See how you, or not Jesus. You might have a baby being baptized twice. So you make sure you're looking on your paper. Does anyone have four in a row yet? Look, you have another parent and another priest. Anyone see any extra ones on your paper that you missed? Look, there's another Bible. Yep, you can color in all the Bibles, all the babies. So 
there's a baby on yours too. Do you want to play that one? All the priests and all the parents. But once you have all those colored in, and make sure that all of the ones that you got are colored in. Put your finger here. Give me thumbs up. Got yours? All right, we can wait. Do <laughs> you see any extra ones? I only have one. Oh, yeah. Baby. Yeah. Just put the color. There you go. <coughs> All right. He's sleeping. Did you get the Bible, Charlie? Oh, you're going to get that, so. Okay. I'm done. Oh, wow. You have a lot, too. Is anyone close to getting four or half four in a row? I'm close. You're close. Yeah, you're close too. You're too. Yeah. I have two. 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 Baptized in a church, so find if you have a church on your paper. Oh, in a church. I don't have a church. It's back. It's back. It's back to the bingo. Yeah, it is back to the bingo. You guys have a church? Cool. I think everyone has a church on there. Yes. Anyone get bingo yet? No. No. Okay. I guess we'll keep going then. I still have one left. Alright, last. Not last. What's this one? Candle. A candle, Ooh, that's right. Bingo. So a candle is lit when you are baptized, and it's a symbol of you being the light of Christ. Bingo. And you're coming into God's family. So who got a bingo? Raise your hand. Awesome. I'm going to come around and give you a sticker. I have Everyone got a sticker at some point. You got four in a row? Good job. You want it on your shirt or on your paper? You can put it wherever you want. Anyone else get a bingo? You got a bingo too? Oh. Uh, yeah, two ones. Favorite color is yellow? Wow. You get a bingo? Bingo! Yay! There you go. Anyone else? Alright, we'll keep going, okay? So we just colored in the candle, right? And I have my special baptismal candle here with me today. My mom and dad, so are you. We had to look for mine last night because all we could find was my first communion candle. And I didn't even know I had a first communion candle. But here's my baptismal candle. Do they still candle. do that? I think they do. It might depend on where you get baptized, though. I was baptized at Little Flowers. Anyone know where that is? Oh, oh party. party! That was my Your first trip, but Your now I'm going to do it. Oh. All right, so did everyone color in their candle? Yes. Thumbs up. Did you check and see if there's extra candles? All right, this is our next one. This kind of looks like this, the baptismal font, right? So this is where you're baptized over. Bingo. 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 All right, raise your hand if you go to bingo. I will come to the quietest person first. Okay, you look pretty quiet. All right, did you get a bingo? Good job. Here's your sticker. Did you get a bingo? Yay, here's your sticker. Did you get one? Remember, I will come give you a sticker if you're talking. All right. Okay, good job. All right. So who has not gotten a bingo yet? Do we still need to keep going? All right. Do you have a bingo? Oh, boy. There you go. All right, we're going to keep going until all of our friends get a bingo, okay? So we can maybe get two bingos? Yeah, maybe we can get two bingos, so be on the lookout. So we have two more. All right, everyone see this one? Yeah. What's this? This is the holy water. It's kind of hard to see. It's the holy water that washes us. Bingo. bingo! Bingo! Okay. Bingo. So who has it on this sticker yet? Double bingo! Anybody? I haven't gotten a sticker. I got. You get a bingo. 
He got two. I need a sticker. Are you going to stick her, Liam? I got two. Awesome. Two big toes. All right. Here you go. Did everybody get a sticker? Yes. Okay. And then yeah. all the crown. I know. Let's do our last one. Oh, oh you, you don't have to pull it in if you don't want to. Is the cross, and it reminds us that Jesus saved us. Yes. So we can go to heaven. So we can go to heaven.